I want to talk about what is an effective team. For a team to win, they must have an effective leader, strong teammates, the right mindset, and realize as a team and on a bit individual level what they need to fix. But I want to ask you guys in your lives, and I just want you to look into your lives, how many fans do you have in your life and how many teammates do you have in your life? You, you know, our goals in life can be a train that we may shape and make it the best, and we may have extra compartments on that, on that train. But the thing is, the hardest thing to find is the tracks. You can have a beautiful train, but if it has no tracks, you can't do anything. I mean, I've had a lot of trains in my life that have cracked them pretty good, but it's like, do I have the right tracks to, to go them on? Um, you see, back then, I didn't realize what my path was going to be exactly. That day determined a lot of my future. You see, elevators, planes, trains, they take us somewhere. Such as our adulthood. This is my story. You see, once you get to college, you're going to have this platform. You're going to have this opportunity to share your story. Share your thoughts, share your opinions. Make sure you use that in a good way. You're gonna go through seasons of your life, some good, and some that are gonna be just super hard. There's, look, there's gonna be days where you don't, you're, you're, not, you're not gonna wanna get out of bed. You're gonna be so tired. You're gonna be exhausted. You're gonna be worn out. But eventually, eventually, You'll find something that's bright. You'll find something that really motivates you. Because eventually those those storms will turn into something more pretty. Something a little more palatable. Something that you'll enjoy. See, maybe your path goes like this. You enjoyed high school, got good grades. You got into college of your dreams and graduated with a 3.9 GPA in four years. You got into grad school, finished that in a year and a half. You took a break and vacationed for a year. You got married, then you got your doctorate. Congratulations, you graduated four times and are married with kids on the way. Yay, I know this sounds like the classic board game life, but seriously, this could happen. One thing I would advise you, make sure you clean up your room, because that's one thing you can come home to each day counting on. Also, make sure to do your homework, because that's not going to get done by itself. It's going to be important that you get that done. Because these assignments you're going to remember for the rest of your life, and you're going to care about. I'm just kidding, you probably won't. It's probably the activities and the people that you're going to meet that you're going to care about for the rest of your life. Meeting people that are like-minded like yourself. Feeling united, together, enjoying activities. Go team! Cheering them on. Being a part of something wonderful. Whether for how long. You're going to have a small group intentional time with one another. Some memories that you'll never forget for the rest of your life. Some times where you get to just spend thinking, going to events, doing internships, and learning from your friends. And people who give you a shot, people who trust you, people who believe in your ideas. People who are on your team. People who stand by your side. Events that will you'll always remember. You'll have opportunities to see the world. You'll see something new, something different, something beautiful. And you're going to have a wonderful adventure. We all have opportunities to graduate from something, whether it be from counseling, high school, college, getting your doctorate. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's a breakup. You see, the thing is, you're going through a period of transition. Enjoy each moment, dear graduate. Cherish it. Hold on to it forever. Enjoy the IHOP visits. Love the all-nighters with Papa John's pizza. Make the most of your life. My hope and prayer for you is that you know that there's something bigger in store for you. And you're going to one day look back on that and see how big and how amazing it's been. Because you'll see your life transform before your eyes and you're going to be amazed. You're going to be amazed at how you started from A to Z. So go on out there. Put on your cap and gown. They're waiting for you. It's 
your time. Sincerely, Mark Branson Thurston, my graduate. This is your time to make a move. Whether it's that move, this move, which move, when to move. It's going to be a vital move. This is your time, your chance, your opportunity, your shot, your stage to perform, your level to show, your song to sing, your game plan to enact, your degree to earn, your step to take, your ability, your chance, your skills, your gifts to give. This is your move. And like I said earlier, you'll eventually find those tracks, as I did. <laughs>